If we are, my name is Joanna Hall and welcome to Beauty Gets Active. This is a second of our live chat with my lovely, lovely, lovely friend, Noelle Shine. I call you Noelle, actually, Noelle Shine. Um, two good, great Noelle. friends talking about looking and feeling good, using beauty and exercise really to improve our well-being. And this week, this is our second live chat, we're going to be talking about best skincare routines. I'm a sports scientist, fitness presenter and creator and founder of Walk Active. And Noelle, honey, take it away. <laughs> well, hello, everybody. It's so nice to be here. You know, and, and um, yeah, Joe and I have been friends for a very long time. And, you know, she is my go-to expert on anything exercise and nutrition, actually. And a few stories to tell on that because I'm not very good at the exercise. Um, but um, I've worked in the beauty industry for years and I'm probably her go-to person for beauty. Um, I've worked with loads of different brands. Um, I'm a beauty brand strategist. I help develop brands from scratch or strategies. I love making sure that brands are really close to the consumer because I think beauty is, you know, even as an expert, sometimes it's incredibly confusing. There's just so many options out there. So, you know, as Joe and I have been talking, you know, all those little tips and me getting the product out and say, hey, have a look at this. <laughs> you know, it's it's nice to be able to share some of that. Um, it's I think it's really nice, isn't it? Because we we go back a very long way and I have learned so much from you over the years and it's really nice to share that, but we actually have quite a different approach to our daily routine. So for me, my kind of skincare routine, it has to be quick, it has to be fit, you know, bam, 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 you know, don't have much time. My time in the morning, I like to spend a bit of time on a bit of me. Uh, I get up quite early. And I just do a bit of my own exercise and stretching before my day starts. I have a little bit, tiny bit of meditation. And then skincare is kind of like the last thing that happens before it's like, okay, the day starts. And when I've ever spent time with you, which is actually quite a considerable amount of time over the years, you have a completely different approach to the start of your day. It really does my head in, but you look amazing. So, so share some of your stuff to the day. Well, you know, I always have good intentions about the exercise bit. So often, I mean, I do get up quite early, not as early in lockdown, actually. It's been quite nice. I've had a few lions. But, um, you know, for me, I said my mind starts racing, you know. So I will start exercise and halfway through, I realized I've stopped <laughs> and I've been thinking about something. And actually kind of what gets my mind in gear is to go sort out my skin you know, spend some time on that. I'll often read something. I read a lot of articles whilst I prop my phone up in my drawer or <laughs> wedge it in. And I read and a lot of you prop the phone up, you prop your books up, you're doing multiple do, yeah. with your messages. And then you've got like a novel, a 500 page novel going and you're speed reading and you're doing your makeup routine and your skincare. It's phenomenal. I know. I don't know ways, but you I'm multitask with your skincare. So it's just really, it's just really interesting. Yeah, I mean, I multitask. I love discovering new products. Um, you know, and I'm I'm lucky. You know, like yeah, when when my son was really young, I I didn't have time maybe to spend on myself. And I think a lot of people are in that situation, or you've got a different approach. I just that that kind of is my thinking calming moment when I'm doing my skincare in the morning and my makeup. For other people, you know, it might be their exercise, it's their meditation, but actually, you still want to look and feel good, and they're so intertwined. Yeah, so there is scientific evidence on evidence on both. You know, yeah. the, you know the the impact that it has on your emotional and physical health, exercise, no, and the impact that beauty actually has on your emotional health, particularly. I think you know, and obviously you got skin health with skincare too. And that's really what we wanted to try to create kind of with this little mini series about how can we combine the two so they're actually, you know, putting in some well-being and some really good, simple things that are actually easy, accessible, user-friendly, based on sort of what works, but actually don't necessarily cost the earth. So in our first talk, quite a few sort of questions came up. And in this one, we're going to be talking really mainly about daily skincare routines, some do's and some don'ts, uh, because I learned quite a lot from you even in the first one. I've even changed in the last week and I'll, I'll share that with you so should we just crack on in yeah well I think I mean we got oh I think I may have lost her have you lost me yeah no I've got you there we go we're back we're back we're trying something new guys please 
excuse my occasional disappearance from the screen. I don't know why. Um, but look, there's some great, there were some really great questions. And I think what some of those questions really emphasized to me is how many, the one particular thing is like, okay, there's some great products out there. You know, once I've even found what's right for me, what order do I put them on? <laughs> you know, when do I put my serum, yeah. when do I put my moisturizer, what about my SP? I think that's one of the biggest things. So I thought we'd tackle that first. So I've done a little list, which I know the lovely Dan behind the scenes is gonna ping onto the screen because I think it's just easier to explain to you, um, you know, the order of things if you can see it. So I don't know, Dan, if you could put up that daily skincare routines, um, because I think, you know, in the morning and in the night, in the day and in the night, our skin behaves in different ways. Um, Dan, I don't know, can, has that gone up? I can't see it. Can you see it, Joe? It's not up yet. I think it'll come up in a minute. So if you carry on, honey. I'll carry on. No Start problem. Yeah. yeah, so on those daily skincare routines, you know, um, your skin does behave differently in the night where it's renewing itself and your skin cells are renewing, you know, and then in the day when you're, um, you know, you're facing all of those aggressors out there, whether that's sunlight, whether that's pollution, whatever it might be. Um, and so I did this daily little skincare routine. So in the morning, I kind of put the must-do. The must-dos yeah. are for you, Joe. <laughs> That's like no time. And then the can-dos are, you know, if you really want to improve your skincare regime, and there's lots of reasons for doing that, lots of benefits. So must-do, must-do, must-do. And we talked about this last time in the morning is cleanse. You know, and I think not everybody cleanses in the morning um because you think well i just cleansed at night you know and i might have a little residue of my product on and that's great i'm going to get the most of it but actually you want to clear that debris away um and so cleansing in the morning is is a really important thing you might want to do it in the shower very quickly you know lots of different products that you can use and try but cleansing in the morning clears away the previous night's product so can i just say just, just to stop you there so it's good old-fashioned soap and water the biggest no-no um, I'm not saying soap you must never use, but unless it's specifically constructed for the face, you know, um, they will be very stripping. So, you know, okay. they will strip your skin and make it dry. They could leave residue behind. So, you know, no, not really. <laughs> it's not good enough. Okay. That's a bit of a so, when, so when you're actually using um, a cleanser, what type of cleanser should you use? Because I wasn't doing this. I was getting up in the morning, doing my stretches, walk the dog, I, you know, I've washed my face, but I wasn't cleansing. I would just splash it with water and then I would actually start to apply my products. But I have actually started to cleanse, as you suggested, and I have noticed a difference. So what, what in terms of cleansers would you recommend? I'm going to give you three options in a second. I'll just run through the routine and then we'll go to cleanse. And I've got a few different options. So first must do is cleanse. You can do tone, you can do eyes, and there's some great reasons for doing that. And I would never not do eyes, particularly as that's a sensitive area. So first step, cleanse. Second yeah. must-do step is serum. Noelle, can I just stop you there a minute? I'm not yeah. too sure if we can, we're actually seeing you. We've got your no, lovely eyes, but I'm not too sure. We've got your audio. I want to see your beautiful face as well, my darling. As long as you can see that. So, yeah, we've seen you, though. <laughs> that's good. It should be a three-part screen like Dan did before, so. No, we're not. We're just on a two-part. Okay. Well, I'll talk through the slides. Like yeah. A good, like a good um, presenter. You can tell this is a learning curve for us. We're on a steep learning curve, people, so please be patient. But we just wanted to endeavour that hopefully you're getting the information that's really important. That's so we've got a great slide for you. Do you want to carry on talking, honey? Yeah. So Can first, we let's do cleanse. We'll talk about toning as a really important extra step that you can do if you've got time and budget. Your eyes, eye cream, really important for anti-aging to start that early with the right product that's right for you. That's so when you say start that early, what does start that early mean? Um, you I, should, I would say... I eye cream. Okay, right. Well, I'm You're going to tell me off now. <laughs> No, look, everybody does what they do. You know, there's no telling off and there's no right and wrong. But, uh, you know, if you if you want to really have great skin for life, starting on your eye area, you know, really in your 20s, but with something really lightweight and nourishing under that area, cooling under that area, but also protecting under that area, it also makes makeup. 
sit better. We're all worried about dark circles, particularly when we're younger and partying. So, you know, starting the eyes early is great. And then changing your formula, your skin obviously changes with age. So that's a really big thing because we're both north of a certain significant figure. Um, at what point does your skin really start to change? When do you notice that? Is, is there a sort of a certain age or does it not, is it irrelevant? No, it changes every three to, you know, it will change every three to five years, but it also depends on the environment. Oh God, it depends on so many things. So it's age, the environment, the regimen that you're using. I saw this fantastic picture of these twins in Russia that had been separated. And one lived an urban life, so pollution, but actually really looked after her skin. And the other worked in the fields, no skincare. It looked like this 20 year difference between them. So, you know, you can affect wow, yeah. your skin. So, you know, it's hard to say, it's really very personal to you, but hormonally your skin will change through your teens we all hit that horrible puberty moment when suddenly our skin erupted you know and the, the you know the terrible thing is that I can do that all over again can't it in, you know, in, in yeah. menopause, even adult acne is increasing skin conditions you know they really are increasing in this um in this world um can everybody you know i'm just going to check because dan's saying he can't hear me I'm going to come out and come back in, and then maybe you'll be able to find me again. No, like, we can hear you. We just can't see you. We just we just can't see you. We've got your lovely slide. So just bear with us. Sorry about this, lovely people. Just bear with us. We'll get hopefully. Let me just try it quickly, and then just see if that works, and then you can see me too. One sec. I'm going to reflect on on the comment about the two twins, one who spends all time outside and didn't, didn't do any skincare. So that's me. So I'm really conscious that I spend a lot of my time outside, obviously teaching Walk Active, and. I do wear SPFs and I do look after my skin, but I'm really conscious that uh, when I when I feel I'm actually next to Noir, her skin is just really so smooth, and I kind of feel like I'm a bit kind of oh my gosh. So it's quite interesting what she's got to say about that. But I would still advocate love people to get outside. It's so good for your mental well-being. So I think we might. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Yes. I think we're getting there. Okay. Right. So we've gone through cleanse we talked about toner and now you're just about to talk about serums honey yeah serums really important and you talked about you know as you get older what how does your skin change serums become a huge part of caring for your skin and an anti-aging you can start to use some serums quite early um you know you can have um um you can start to use hyaluronic, you can start to use vitamin C really in your 20s, retinol, unless you're using it in acne, you can wait till later because that really is, you know, boosting cell renewal. It's kind of a waste if you use it too early because your cells are renewing anyway. So maybe into your 30s, you might go into retinol, for example. But the one that we're going to talk particularly about today as a daytime routine, uh, regime rather, is vitamin C. And then we'll kind of move into a quick touch base on retinoids towards the end because I know that lots of people have a big question on that. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Can you just talk to me about different weights of serums? Because obviously there's vitamin C and that's quite a common touted, um, you know, product to put to, um, that really boosts the antioxidant content. But the different, there are different sort of weights. What, what, how do you choose the right weight? You no, know, it's honestly your preference. So, um, you know, the, the more liquid the serum, um, I'm going to say the deeper it can go, but it's also about the weight, you know, like rosehip is quite heavy, so it sinks deeper, for example. Uh -huh. You know, but the more liquid, the deeper it will go, just because it can permeate more easier. So, like, for a vitamin C, so we're peeing onto the vitamin C, um, you can see that's my... I won't waste that because that's my very lovely vitamin C from Drunk Elephant. But that's very oh, liquid. Oh, my hair. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> looking at you. Blimey, that's clever. No, I'm okay. I haven't been using There we go. I don't know. I don't think you can see it. I can see. I can't get this camera right. That's it. I can see. Um, it's just really lovely and glowy. But then when you use, you know, the vitamin C by um, the ordinary, it's like a milk. So, you know, they've all got different 
products and ingredients within them and it's you know a lot of the descriptions will be really good but what you really want to understand is some of the percentages particularly on retinol because it will make a yeah. difference so okay. it's it's about what do you like what does it feel like I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit about serums when we talk about vitamin c just in a sec you know but just going back to the steps first step cleanse you know steps that you can do after that would be to tone and eyes Second must-do step is serums. It will go deeper. It will really give you anti-aging benefits. Um, you could then put your moisturizer on, and I would say absolutely you should put your moisturizer on because it's going to protect your skin barrier. But if you're a little worried about budget or too many products, then the must-do last step is putting on your SPF. And you could use an SPF as a moisturizer as well. So cleanse, serum, SPF for the three essentials. I'd add in tone after cleanse, um, eyes after tone, and moisturize after serum. And that would be five oh, steps. And do you kind of SPF always last? Your SPF extra always last. Always last. And can I just ask, when you put the serum in on, can you just or all of the product, can you just go quick, 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 done? Or do you have to kind of wait for each one to soak in a bit? Because I'm the bit of the former girl. Quick, quick, quick. I haven't got time at the door. Or yeah. is that sort of false economy in terms of, you know, the money that you can? Because you can spend a lot of money on beauty products. Really to make think, sure you use that. Yeah, I think you can waste your money a bit. Um, and you don't need to leave it an awful long time. So, you, you know, what I do is I put my serum on and then I'll put my mascara on or I'll do my eye cream. So just swap your order around just to give it even 30 seconds to just seep into the skin and do its job at its best. I think when okay. we spend money, we can get the results. You know, and then you put on your barrier, whether that's your moisturizer or, it, or your SPF or both. So should we talk about cleanse? We go back to step one. Go I back to step one. one. I, like, I like an order, darling. <laughs> so... If Dan pings up uh, cleanse, I'll start to talk about it. Because as we said, cleansing a... Oh, oh no, next one, cleanse. We've done this one. <laughs> We're going to have to do a little shot of Dan. Yeah, I know. There we go. Cleansing's coming up. Hey. So <laughs> that's it. Technology, love. Hey, we love it. Wonderful yeah. lockdown. Dan's yeah, going to know everything about skincare. By the Thank time you for this. your patience, everybody. Thank you. I know. Um, so, okay. So cleansing. Um, obviously... Any products that we recommend is all completely dependent to your own skin type, your own budget. So try to have a look at both for you. Um, and so on cleansing, um, one of the um, brands that everybody like, really is talking about at the moment is CeraVe. Um, lots of beauty editors love it. Lots of influencers love it. Um, and, you know, it's a really great all round family cleanser, but actually is really good for your skin as well because it's hydrating. I really um, like the price point. The I know, exactly. Great. Exactly. That's all it is. Nine 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 fifty or something, isn't it? So you can get that on Feel Unique. Um, but that you push all over your skin, you know, rub it into your skin. It's great. It's a, I would say it's a great morning cleanser. Personally, I'd love it for the morning more than the evening. Um, but um, you just then rinse that off. So it's a great one in the shower. It's also great for all the family. So an all age ranges, would you say? Yeah, it's it's a it is. It's like a family cleanser that's actually really good for your skin so, as well. So I've, I've had some experience with this one because you actually yeah. introduced it to our, our daughter and yeah. she's been loving it. And so she's had it now about two did she weeks. Share it. <laughs> no, she did bless her. Yes, yeah, so she yeah. she let me use it. And um so I was thinking, oh, maybe there's not enough sort of super, you know, super nutrients in it. But it was really lovely. She's really happy. Kind of, it felt really good on my skin. And uh, and actually, the amount that you get for that price point, I think it's incredibly good value. So I was really it's impressed. Brilliant. It's yeah. brilliant value. It's brilliant yeah. value. And I think that's why so many people are talking about it. And it contains, I think, sodium hyaluronate, which is going to moisturize. So that's your moisturizing, hydrating piece in there. So kind of a little bit two in one. The skin should feel really comfortable afterwards. If you, however, have got somebody with acne, you really, to be honest, want to go to a Derm brand. And I'm suggesting La Roche-Posay um, here. Again, it's, you know, it's not a crazy price. It's £12.50. You know, but what that does is help reduce the seed excess sebum without stripping the skin. 
because mm. the temptation on oily skin is to scrub at it, put everything on it, but you strip the skin and then it starts to produce oil because it thinks, hang on a minute, <laughs> there's not enough oil and it will just yeah. is actually a food economy. So something that, that really can work is, um, so I thought I might be done, is, um, is La Roche-Posay. Um, and that one, what's that one called? I can't see it on the screen there, but you can see it on the package. Well, post that one but you can get that looks fantastic is is great for la roche posay products and what um, we'll do also just to say with this um when we actually post this properly and um, i have if we need to do any editing what we'll do is actually list all the products underneath as well so people will be able to have direct links so it's easy for them to find um and then i have to talk about ooh, the radical skincare i've got it here um i help launch radical in the uk it's a brand that i have i really love because it's multitasking it's very potent in its ingredients so for anti-aging and also if you like if you like oh it's got its hygiene thing on if you like the a creamy cleanser um like a lotion cleanser which i prefer I don't love cleaning my face in the shower. I, I don't know why. Some people love it, some people don't. It's not for me. Um, but what you've got there, can you see again? A lovely, lovely lotion. Smells gorgeous. It's got mango in it. Um, doesn't smell sweet though, but um, it's great for the eye, removing your eye makeup, even makeup all over your face. Um, but um, it's massively hydrating um, as well. So it's really full of antioxidants. So great again as morning cleanse as well yeah. as evening. So, so when when I've stayed with you, when we've been on a trip or something, I've actually had a little sneak try of that, and it is really, really. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, did you? I, I, I had a sneak one of that one. It's pricey. It is quite pricey, but wow, it is. It's really, really lovely. It's really lovely. It's really lovely. It's an investment. It's more than just a cleanser. I think you know that's the benefit. Yeah. For you. Um, as is the next one, Sunday Riley. Again, I've kind of been using this to bits as well. I didn't think I would like an oil cleanser, um, but this has been really quite beautiful. It's got vitamin C in there. It's basically like an antioxidant power punch. So it really is, and it's got lots of vitamin C in too. It's really just great if you like that silky um, feel to your skin. If you've got excess oil in your skin, it's not for you. Um, but it will take off your eye makeup remover because it slides, because it's oil, so your makeup kind of slides off with it. What I would say if you use an oil cleanser is you definitely need to tone afterwards because the oil will leave a residue and it will stop your serum working as well and sinking as deep into the skin. The same, I think there was a question last time about a balm. Um, yeah. and, um, you know, some people love it. If you've got a really dry, tight skin, and I know sometimes your skin can get almost painfully tight you know use a balm yeah. cleanser there's a great one by the inky list it's called the oat colloidal something like that we haven't got a picture of it up here um, but that's a great balm cleanser but you do need to either double cleanse you don't have to it's up to you, so, you know, talk to me about this whole concept of double cleansing because um I inherited from our daughter something that didn't suit her skin is the pixie double cleanse don't know if you can see that there so the pixie yeah. double cleanse so it's just basically uh, it's got two sides to the, to the product um i really like it but one is more liquid and yeah. one is more so this this one's more uh liquid and this one is more uh balmy i suppose yeah so balm first then the liquid and it means that you're hydrating your skin you're removing your makeup um, and then you're you know cleansing off that residue so that your products can work well afterwards. So that, the idea of a double cleanse is the first cleanse is removing the debris. Second cleanse is removing all final residue so that your skin is comfortably ready um, to maximize your serum. So if you don't necessarily wear that much makeup, do you need to be so thorough with your cleansing? Because I, I don't wear that much makeup, so I'm, you know, quick, fast you know i love the idea but to me um i love the idea but it's kind of like time up to you. I, I i i do it sometimes but i also use almost my toner as my second cleanse step i think what a couple of other points just on cleansing before we go to toners is that um facial wipes 
don't do it. <laughs> I know they're really convenient, but they can leave a lot of chemicals on your skin. Um, so they are quick, they are easy, but they, they're not the greatest thing for your skin. Um, and all the, all the environment. Yeah, or the environment, absolutely. You can get biodegradable ones, yeah. but why bother? Just, you know, also cloths. So you can buy really great cleansing cloths now as well. And even my cellar water, it is great for taking makeup off because it kind of acts like a magnet to draw away, but it does leave a residue on your skin afterwards. So, yeah. so that goes to next second step, which is toning, which ping, a slide should come on for toners, maybe. <laughs> Look, but we talked about toning last time because not everybody um, tones because maybe we used to do it and now we don't do it anymore. Um, you know, or maybe we used some of the toners that were quite harsh for our skin when it was almost about, um, you know, scrubbing your skin to get rid of yeah. any oil, for example. The toners can do so much more, but basically they're wet, so they hydrate. They also re re remove any residue from your cleanser. So, you know, if you don't want to double cleanse and you haven't got time, the toner can swish that for you. And that's really speedy and refreshing. But because it's wet, it allows your serum, which will come next, to work harder, basically, because it's uh, hydrated skin sucks up, you know, much um, liquid much more easily. So, yeah, that's that's why you'd you'd use a toner. Yeah. Um, and then I, I think was really interesting because I had totally nothing neglected toners, but after our set, our first life that I resurrected that little piece. And again, I've written, I've noticed a real difference. Um, I was waking up in the morning and I still felt I had quite a lot of product on my face. And I think that was a good thing because I thought, oh gosh, it's, you know, it's still kind of working. But obviously that, that was a bit of a fault of economy. And since using the toner, I found that actually more product has gone in. When I've woken up in the morning, my skin feels not dry, but it doesn't feel like it's got that kind of layer of product that's still left on my skin. So I, that was, that's really made a difference for me the last seven days. So thank you, darling. That's a pleasure. Um, and, but I think that it's always, you know, it's about making your product work harder, um, you know, and, and I think everybody's got to do what's right for them. You know, it's you know, a lot of skincare products is expensive, but if you're really going to invest, invest yeah. in your serum. Invest yeah. in your serum that's the one to really invest in and you know so if you look at toners a couple of them that i've suggested are um pixie you know because they have specialized in toners and pixie glow tonic and you can get a smaller size at 10 pounds um they're available on cult beauty they're available on lots of other sites as well um and then you get the larger size at um 18 pounds which is better value um and they're famous for their glow tonic which has got a little bit of glycolic acid in it. So it's a slight, it basically helps exfoliate a little and um, whilst you're toning. So it's a little bit of a two in one. Um, so the one that I really love that I'm using at the moment, which is on there too, is the collagen one. So that's really giving your skin an anti-aging boost as well whilst you're toning too. So you've got choices about your toner in, in terms of what's right for you. But I know that um, Isabella tried the Pixie Glow and it was a, it was she just her skin couldn't quite take that. It's a little bit more active. What's really interesting is um, the ink. I, I've so been you very it, so I really I like it. <laughs> I really, really like that one. So yeah, that's come to the mama. That's okay. That one. Yeah. Well, you'll need to replace it for her. And the one you could replace it with potentially is um, this one from the inky list and it's called it's called a it's got a pha which is really um interesting because it basically acts like glycolic acid but it's um it's much slower and it's more gentle so if something says pha it's going to do the work of a glycolic which will basically slough off dead skin cells but it's going to do it really really gently it will just take longer so you won't see some of the more instant results. So if your skin's slightly sensitive, it's much better to use a PHA if you can find a PHA. So interestingly, you know, Inculist, really accessible again, um, you know, have produced that. It's a British company created by um, founders, used to work for Boots, um, and they've really tried to demystify skincare and put it out there at great prices. Um, great. So great, great brand to look into. Um, if you really have sensitive, highly irritating skin and you want to tone and you want to calm, 
um, then then I basically say go to a derm brand. You know, if your skin's irritated, have a look at the derm brands. They can be sometimes a little bit difficult to decipher. Um, uh, this one by Aven and also the Roche Posay, but Aven is is famous for using thermal waters. Thermal waters are kind of ancient healing waters, purity there, and they will really refresh um, your skin but it will soothe and calm delicate skin as well. So, you know, that's a great one to use. It's a little bit more expensive there, 2650. Oh. Um, but I've discovered something I'm so excited about, which is this, <laughs> this one, um, which is at the bottom of the screen. And it's Ceramidin by Dr. Jart. And some lots of you will have heard about K-Beauty. Um, it was huge. They really have... Um, Korean beauty has come up with some really amazing formulas, some very, you know, unusual ingredients. They do things like snail's mucus and things like that. Some of it is like, wow, when you look at the list. Um, but they really have got some incredible skincare. Um, and this is a mist, but it also comes as a toner and it's massively hydrating. So I've had and it's 13 pounds. So in the morning, I've been the spray of this on because I've Sometimes we can overload our skin, which is why I'm trying to say separate out your day from your night. Don't put everything on at once um, and let it do its job. But, you know, hi, everybody needs hydration. You know, and give a spritz of this and you get the most incredible glow and blast of hydration. So it's my latest discovery. I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's beautiful. So so that's awesome because we have quite a few sort of walk activists who are in very, very hot climates. And even now the weather's been quite hot here, um, you know, hydrating. But we've got you know, people sort of in sort of high desert areas and it's very, very dry. So that would be a toner that you would recommend for them as well as another toner or just that will basically one stop do all? Um, it's up to you. It's not really the, the toner is um, it ha you have a toner there. The toner is 33 pounds. So you, if your skin is dry and tight, it is a brilliant toner to really give you that comfort and hydration back without the excess oil. So, okay. you know, you know, so you, you won't have that excess oil to worry about. If you just want a blast of hydration, then this is an extra step. So this is an optional, blah, blah, optional rather extra step as a mist. So okay. Toner, in the range. So I like the sound of that. If I'm out and about all day with my walk active and teaching, yeah, that sounds good to me. That would probably really? be, yeah, I'd look at that. You yeah, can I like put that. Over makeup. So if you put makeup on, you can spritz on top of your makeup. Do it from afar. Don't squirt yourself in the eye. Shut your eyes. <laughs> Don't get with a big blob. Yeah. So a big spritz of that, and it will wake up your makeup. It kind of helps set your makeup. It's all of those things. Spritzes are fabulous for that, but I just love the hydration element. Of that. I've got another one here that I was I actually got uh, this one here by Villiers. So that's just a nice little. I've like I've used that one before. It's been quite refreshing, and it's very natural that product. Uh, yeah. So you've been using that as a toner, sorry. I've used, well, I've just no kind of like a bit of. A, um, to set makeup as well a little bit and a bit of just sort of zap. Yeah. You see, yeah. you can. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not the beauty expert. I'm just using all this very technical beauty. Zap it. You know, I'm just zap it. Okay. It's a nice spritz. I think it's. I don't know what's in that one. I know it's probably got lots of soothing botanical ingredients in in there. No, yeah, in the brand. It's, it's called an active botanical mist. So I quite like that one. That's quite nice. But I don't know how. Active. No, it if it feels good, it feels yeah. good. Do it. Give it that spritz it's nice you kind of way sometimes in the afternoon your skin just looks really really tired um so i just saw a question from debbie and i don't know if we answered it debbie plow right um and do you put your moisture cream over serum um so yeah serum first debbie then your moisturizer okay so and if you think about the more liquid first and then the cream second so you're kind of building up the weight of your product and that sometimes helps Okay. Good. Shall we? Are we moving on? We got toners. I hope, so much. I hope it's okay. Okay, guys, and I hope it's helpful. Um, so we move on to um, serums and vitamin C. The next one. So we've talked about. Can you hear me? Yeah, we've yep. got you. Good. So we have talked about cleanse. We've talked about tone, um, and we're going to talk about serum. So. Um, Vitamin C in the morning, um, you, nothing wrong with using vitamin C at night. If you want to use vitamin C at night, go for it. 
But at the same time, if you're using, there are other products that are really great at night and you just end up using too much product. You know, so if you want to look at what works best at what time, vitamin C, brilliant in the morning. Um, it gives you hydration. It gives you radiance. It's brightening. But I think the most powerful thing about it is it's, a, it's one of the best antioxidants. And in um, the daytime, your skin is exposed to all kinds of kinds of environmental stresses. You've got pollution and stress, um, you know, which breaks down your skin. All of those things. So which harms your skin? So um, and it really does give you that lovely radiance as well. So, you know, my favorite is the drunk elephant, which I was showing you earlier, um, but it's expensive. It's 62 pounds, you know, so, or 67 pounds, absolutely. Corrected there. Um, you can buy a cult beauty, you can buy a space and K. Um, and this is absolutely packed. It's super potent. That's why it's more expensive. So, you know, when you say, well, what's the difference? You've got one up there at 9.99 and one up there at 67, you know, the, I would say the inky list is very good value for money anyway, but the um, drunk elephant has been named as one of the best time and time again because of the look and feel on your skin and because it's packed with antioxidants, peptides, all kinds of things there that are really just going to give your skin so many multiple benefits while giving you the best. Yeah. On your You've got me onto that one. I have to say it, it's a little bit of a guilty secret of mine. I, I love it. I really... I know what you say does now. Does he know what you spend <laughs> He doesn't know yet. No, so I, I I did spoil myself when I got one and then I sort of finished it. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll wait. You know, that's that's fine. And then I really noticed a difference within my skin quite a sh within quite a short period of time of not using it. And then I just thought, oh, you know, hey, it's it is it is expensive, but it's really good. It, it feels good and it works. Yeah, it's really nice. you know, yeah. I think I used the um Inculus vitamin C actually earlier today. Um, and it feels very different. So your drunk elephant vitamin C is, um, it comes out almost like an oil. Um, um, so it's very liquid and it really sinks into the surface of your skin and you see an instant cosmetic boost whilst it's working. Um, I think with the vitamin C here, it's a, it's a bit like the ordinary one that I tried before as well. So that also comes in a tube. Um, and it actually kind of gave me almost like a slightly paler, it's a little bit gritty, which some vitamin Cs are. It's quite a stable vitamin C. The ordinary one, you feel a bit more of a tingle, but this is a very stable vitamin C. It's 30% vitamin C. But I didn't like the effect compared to this cosmetically. So it will work, it's great. It will really give you what you want at a great price, but it didn't work cosmetically. And we were talking about we, we want it to work. We want, they both work, you know, and I love the Inculus, so it's both work. But you know, texturally, sometimes you have that preference. This has got lots of other things in it as well. Um, and this just didn't texturally feel as nice for me. Okay. Um, or give me that cosmetic. I actually took my makeup off because my makeup started pilling. Um, you know, when you get a pilling on a jumper, you know, yeah. sometimes your makeup can do that pilling feel and after that um, vitamin C, okay. I think it felt like my In fact, I took it worse. Um, I've also put Summer Fridays up there. And one of the questions last time you asked me, and is such a big question so many people are asking at the moment, is what's vegan? You know, and it becomes an automatic question I was explaining. Some people talk about it, some people don't. There's a lot of products that are vegan, but they just don't necessarily talk about it. A lot of sunscreens mm -hmm. are vegan because they come from minerals and there's no you know no no kind of animal um, um elements into it but um drunk elephant is a vegan brand as is summer fridays so you know i think if you if that's your positioning um and completely understand that and so many brands are moving that way anyway um you've got vegan brands so there's summer fridays and i put summer fridays on there because it's a gorgeous brand really small skincare range they do something called a jet lag mask, which um, we haven't talked about today, and we'll maybe do a masking thing at some time. Um, and um, yeah, I have some questions on masks. I think it yeah. is such a big subject, so I think maybe we'll save that for another week about yeah. how to completely de-stress your skin and you know make it feel zuzush. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, so um, yeah, they do. They do. They're famous for that jet lag mask. But I discovered this um, from them, and it is a really gorgeous antioxidant, hydrating 
packed um, serum smells gorgeous um and that's available at cult beauty as well so still a little bit of an investment of 57 but slightly yeah. in the middle slightly <laughs> in the middle okay <laughs> yeah but it's okay. good the real cross section so just before are we going to move on to moisturizer did you want to do that next or? i was wanting to moisturizer today because i think spf is such a big topic and i think in my follow-up notes last time i talked um about time filler it's a great yeah. anti-aging moisturiser because somebody was asking about that. Um, somebody last time um, also asked about uh, neck cream. Um, I use Radical, but it's no longer being made on the, as a neck cream. But there's a great one from Cosmetics. Um, just, just before we move on to SPF, honey, can I just ask you about oils, facial oils, in the sequence of things? Does a facial oil replace the serum? Or can you, would you layer that depending on the viscosity, either before the serum or after the serum? So I'm just going to show this one here, which was, this is a Heckles pumpkin seed oil, which yes. I, I quite like. I really have a slightly different view on it. I, I like this one um, because I get, as you know, a little bit of sort of um, eczema on my hands and sometimes a bit on my neck. And this just seems to, you know, tick the box. It's really easy, smooth, soothing. So I quite like that. But if I was going to wear this together with my vitamin C, is that a waste um, or is that a bonus? I suppose what I want um, to It's a bonus because it's treating something different. So depending on what vitamin C you're using. So if you're using one that's a lotion, I would use the pumpkin seed oil first. If you're using one that's a like liquid, to just look at the weight so go um like the <laughs> so go the lightest weight first lighter to heavier yeah. okay and there's two different i mean you pick that up as an oil but um some some fate that's there's facial oils that almost replace a moisturizer so okay. we're talking an oil there we go this one's um i can never say it Omnoritzva, <laughs> um, so it's a Hungarian brand, um, and that's a miracle facial oil which they're really famous for, and that's a, that's a really gorgeous, luscious oil. And drunk elephant, I don't think I've got it here. I've got a virgin marula oil. You can use that to replace your moisturizer if you love the feel. It's down to you. And if you're a dry skin and very dry weather likes a facial oil, but it does, you know, it, it will be it will be a it will be a barrier, which is great. It acts as a barrier in cold weather. It acts as a barrier in, in really, um, you know, dry climates. Yeah. Um, lovely. We just got a couple of questions here. Um, one from Adele. If you're saying eye cream for puffy eyes, what would if you had to name one brand? What would it be? Hmm. Well, I'd, I'd name a texture rather than a brand. So if you have puffy eyes go for um, a gel rather than a cream. And also, I mean, lots of people just inherit puffy eyes, you know, so that, that that's your, your thing. It can do with circulation. So getting a good massage roller um, as well and using that too is a great thing to do with puffy eyes. So um, they've got some brilliant ones. You see the jade rollers and it's a roller and I haven't got one to demo and I'm not going to demo it. I would get somebody professional as a facialist to demo that. Um, but a jade roller and looking at a gel. Um, and also avoid putting your eye cream on top of your eye if you've got a puffy eye. So when you use your eye cream, you know, I'm afraid of junk elephant again, um, just a tiniest bit. So that's all I use for my eye cream on both eyes. So I'll okay. it a little bit and then take the tiniest bit, um, but I don't put it on top. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. So then I've got a question from Angela, Angela Taylor. So Angela, lovely Angela, hello, says, what brand would you choose if you were going for a spa facial? Oh, um, hmm. That's a good question. You know what? I talk about skincare, but I rarely go for a spa facial. Rarely. You oh, love them, don't you? You I love them. Do. I have to say, that's if I'm going to be in the me I'm I do. Be I Sorry, I then. do love a facial. I do love a facial. Um, can I share what I would, well, one of yeah, my favorites? You've done the, um, yeah. A Rene Gino facial, a cathiodermy. 
where they kind of use rollers to really press the products into your skin. So there's no sort of technology or anything like that. It's just, it's hands and just, oh yeah, Rene Guino would be the one that I would, that would be my go-to that I just love, yeah. I mean, I suppose the other one I'd, I'd suggest, but I don't think it's all, you know, like Rene Guino is a real heritage brand. It's been around a long time, incredibly expert. I mean, we've been around a long time. <laughs> I think meneghino has been around even longer than you've done with <laughs> me. Um, uh, Elemis as well, I think, is a lovely pampering facial. Yeah. Um, you know, and a beautiful brand. Um, so, yeah, I think there's, I mean, there's so many. It's a whole, you know, we kind of go into a whole new world. There's just so much out there. I know. Um, um, just, as, just as an aside, though, there was a question, I think um, Marita posted it earlier on about what uh, facial massage techniques would you recommend? And I think you had somebody um, that has a really great little clip on an IGTV, so we can extend that clip as well. Yes, I mean, on facial, where's my thingy again? I've got something called, I don't know, have it here. Um, so to, just to do a quick with a product at home, um, look at Philorga a lift designer, it's got a little metal roller, you do a click on the side, the product comes out and you can really do a roll on your, it, it tells you how to do it, but upwards on the jaw, upwards here, and upwards, don't drag your skin, but just on that orbital bone. Um, so that kind of does a serum and a roller in one as a massage in your face. Um, but there is somebody incredible, actually I was talking to her yesterday, she really is amazing, um, Michaela Boulder, um, so if you have a look on um, her Instagram following at Michaela Boulder, but also um, she's got all kinds of techniques. That she does some of them are really unique, but they really exercise the muscles in the face. Um, and if you go um, onto In Your Element um, on Instagram on their IGTV, she demonstrates her whole technique for a DIY massage. Yeah, that you can do two or three times a week or every day. Um, I, I actually did that with a, in it, a sort of little Instagram post. It was amazing. Yeah. So what we'll do, we'll, put the, we'll post the link to yeah. that underneath this as well. When this goes, we'll post it because it it's worth it. Yeah, the other company actually talking about spa as well, I'd I'd suggest, and it's, again, it depends on that, but all kinds of different facials is Face Gym. Um, they're really unique and innovative in their um, treatments that really exercise the muscles on the face. Um, and they've just introduced some great new product and they also do an online where they teach you how to do it. So face gym is, a, is another kind of a cool new technique. Okay, great. Any other questions? Because I can't see the questions here, so I don't want to ignore No, them. I think that's covered. Um, da, da, da. No, I, think that, I think that covers what, well, there was obviously the question about SPF. Um, a couple of this came in from my clients. SPF that rolls into your eyes. How do you get? How do you avoid an SPF that rolls into your eyes? And you're getting you're getting warm. You're exercising outside, and you get that awful <laughs> stinging feeling, which I've had. It's horrible. It is. So if we can put up the sun care slide, um, um, we can talk about SPF because it is actually a quite a confusing topic on S SPF and finding the right one. Um, and you know, it is the best anti aging product you could ever use. So preventing the sun damage. Um, as we said earlier, finding an SPF um, 30 to 50, although going up to a 50 doesn't really give you about 1% more. Um, so don't worry too much about find a product you love that's a 30, but it's a 50, that's not really much of a problem. You need to make sure that you've got UVA and UVB, and UVB is to prevent burns, and UVA is to prevent <laughs> which makes sense <laughs> if you remember what they both stand for. Sweetie, I, I missed that. I think people may have missed that as well. About the diff why do you need UVA and why do you need UVB? Your, your, the sound, I think, went a bit funny. Do, can you just say that again? So UVA protection is to prevent um, the aging and UVB is to prevent the burning. So it's at different depths of um, light. Okay. Um, and you know, there are two different types of sun cream, basically, physical and chemical. There's so much discussion on this, but um, physical is actually mineral and it has titanium dioxide and zinc, di uh, zinc oxide in, and that's what you need to look for. 
Um, there's and, and for your lady, you know, who asked that question about um, it, it running into my eyes, it's the best. This is the best one to use. And actually, a lot of derms, dermatologists will suggest using a physical sunscreen. And that's what you should look for, either the word physical, mineral, but look for ingredients, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. OK. It, it means that when you're exercising, it, it protects you immediately. It goes on because it acts as a shield. Um, a physical acts as a shield. A chemical acts um, as it, uh, it absorbs and releases. So a physical sunscreen um, lasts longer. It's less irritating. Stays put better. You know, we used to talk about titanium oxide as maybe making you look white. Now the particles are much smaller, so it actually looks, you know, it feels a little thicker, but it, it, it can often look quite invisible. Okay. But if you really love a lightweight, it's a great for exercising. So physical sunscreen, exercising, sweaty. Um, if you want it to be really lightweight, then you can go for a chemical. Um, uh, and it gives you that ultra lightweight. It, you do have to wait 20 minutes before it really becomes effective. Somebody might argue with me on that, but I've read that everywhere. Um, and it can actually clog your pores. It's not non comedogenic, which, you know, the physical one won't clog your pores either. So physical is what derms suggest, really. Okay. Okay, we had quite a few questions actually about the right SPF, so hopefully that answers that question. Yeah, so if we ping on, I can show you which ones. So we've got a suggestion of which... Um, We're keeping Dan different... busy today. We are keeping busy, he's doing so great though. <laughs> We hope so. Really, we would we hope actually when you're watching this, you're finding this useful. So please leave us a comment below or now um, if you're finding this helpful because we just really wanted to make this conversation to bring it to life and to make it as user friendly for you as possible. So please let us know what you think if this is working for you, despite our kind of experiences here with technology. But we'd love to hear what you thought. Better, but it's not easy. If anyone wants to do this <laughs> in the live that they're doing, it's not easy, and you need. A Dan. Um, <laughs> um, so SPF, absolutely critical for you to wear every day. If it's sunny or not, you should be wearing SPF. Um, and, um, you know, a few different options. Um, I've had so many recommendations about this product. La Roche-Posay is 17.50. It's ultra, ultra light. So, you know, it's, it's just a great lightweight. And it's for the face. It's a great lightweight one. Um, my favourite, um, back to Drunk Elephant, um, which is a physical defence. And I think what's really interesting about it is £27. So it is an investment. It comes as tinted or untinted. So if you like a little bit of colour and you don't want to go completely bare-faced, it's an SPF, so it's really going to work. But secondarily, it's going to give you a lovely, great, slightly tinted glow as well. So I like that. That would be mine. I do like to have a bit of tinted I love tinted. it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, get, get, um, um, <laughs> um, but I think one thing about this that I found really interesting that I didn't know before so titanium um, dioxide and zinc oxide are great in a physical um, sunscreen but there is research being done in terms of it disrupting marine life and what the drunk elephant one is marine friendly so you know and that's a lot of work that cosmetics companies are looking at now you know, yes, is it vegan? Does it meet principles? Does it, you know, cruelty free? That was ages ago. You know, there's loads of work being done on cruelty free, but um, actually the sea and the oceans are kind of the next consideration. Um, now, another brand that is really interesting that you could have a little look at um, and you can find it on its own website or on Skin City is HelioCare or HelioCare, I'm not sure which way around, um, but they are sun care experts. So if you're really serious about your SPF and you should be, then it has got such a great range of textures. So you can find the one that really suits you. Um, okay, and they, yeah, yeah it's, it's, you know, some are milkier, some, they've got gels on there um you know the lotions they've also got a great mineral powder so you know if you you need to touch up your spf every two to four hours you know and you're sitting with your makeup on or you haven't got time you don't want to wet your face again a quick dusting um of a spf 
50 helio care and, and there are some other brands that do that as well you know but a mineral proud powder will help you keep that touched up or do it really quickly in the morning if you go out early with barney for a little walkie which you do i know you know you could just dust on a little bit of that and you get a little bit of bronze and so even at 6 a.m in the morning i need to have fpf on you should yeah. oh, okay okay all right, note yourself. Yeah. <laughs> up to you, but yeah, you should. Okay. Everything's up to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I'm just, just thinking here, maybe this would be a topic maybe that we could address in um, another live chat and maybe get some people's thoughts on that. What would be really nice in terms of, you know, you're going out for the day, what would be a must have to have in your handbag? And I know we haven't got time to discuss it today, but would that be an interesting topic? Because I know for myself, if I'm out teaching walk active or I'm with clients or I'm sort of in meetings, what would be your sort of like mini little bag of skincare must have? I think that for me personally, I'd find that really, really quite um, helpful. So I'm just interested to, for people who are watching this, does that appeal? Would that be helpful? Um, so anyway, so leave us a comment, let us know whether we do that, because I know that you've got lots of tips and tricks on that as well, Noelle. So that would be, I think, a really interesting. <laughs> really getting them. Sorry, that's a preview. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so skincare must-haves and makeup must-haves. And, and, and I think your must-have in your handbag is kind of a mix of both. Um, but we'll come back to that. Oh, yeah, sure. we'll do that another day. Please. So hopefully that's answered. Any other questions? Because I can't see questions, Joe. Are there any other no, questions? I think, um, Debbie's saying, that's great, really informative. Oh, thank you. Can you, see, I need to put my glasses on. Oh, okay, you see. Do you, what are your thoughts on Botox, fillers, care, cream, treatments for lips? We did actually, on lips actually, we did have a question about what would be the best lip balm. Shall we save Botox and fillers to another day? Because that's quite a specialist yeah. area, isn't yeah, it? And Botox and fillers, you know, that's... I will I will do some research and ask some questions and point you in the right direction because, for me, that's not something that I particularly love. And also, Botox will treat the skin on the inside, but you actually need to think about your topical skincare simultaneously. So, yeah. You know, but and I think that's what do it makes you feel good, but do it in an informed way. That's yeah. Like, yeah, and I think that's what's interesting also about now, the evidence of exercise is obviously increasing the oxidative capacity of your whole body and stimulating your cardiovascular, your, your fitness and also your mental fitness. But also now there's evidence that suggests that certain proteins are produced which stimulate and have a positive anti-aging effect on your skin, um, on the elasticity and actual luminosity of the skin as well. So it kind of, that links in really well. That's why I'm kind of I'm going to grow yeah. physical activity and get us out there as well with our SPF. I do want to I did 22,000 steps the other day, Jo. <laughs> did you have your global greeting and were you hip lifted? I did, I do. I'm very conscious about feeling the peel. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, so just come on. Sorry. Just to read the final point. Yep, Sorry, yep. The final point about lips. Maybe what lip care, if you had to give one little, because I know that was that uh, this has come up quite a bit, and I know we may address it another time. But just what would be your point about lip care? I suppose. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if any of you have seen Doctor Lip. Um, it is available in Space and K. It's a really cute brand. Um, it's got quite a lovely history to it, and it's got cute little drawings. Um, but it is gorgeous, and it's um, it's the original nipple and lip cream because you can use it on both um but um always it's, useful that's what i say particularly <laughs> particular times in your life um but yes dr lip i think is a really great one but if you want a little bit of color as well then lano lips do some beautiful um um tinted lips lip balms with spf um, and here you go, Dr. Lay, you've got the doctor in the, in the top corner there. Thanks, Dan. You were determined to do this. <laughs> um, so on Space and K, and you'll see it at the till as well. Um, but actually fresh, so I'm giving you three, because fresh use, um, they have sugar in their lip balms, um, and they have lots of lovely lip treatments. I haven't got it with me at the moment, but it's a lip serum that they use. Um, and you can use it around your mouth and it's just beautiful. So if you're really worried about that area, have a look at Fresh. They have a lip serum, they have some gorgeous lip scrubs. Um, but um, if you're really looking at just a hunk of moisture, I'd go for um, Dr. Lip. 
Yeah, no, I, I'm really conscious. My lips get really dry with, with being out so much, so outside so much. So that's a really good tip. All right, my lovely. We'll have a little play with when we can see each other again. Um, I know. We'll play with the. Um, so we just want to say thank you so much well, thank you so much lovely for joining me but also for every single one of you who um have tuned in you've given us your comments and for those of you who actually weren't necessarily able to join us live but you posted your comments and your questions as well we really really appreciate it so let us know um if you have found it useful um we really wanted to make this very fun, informative, relaxed. We're on a learning curve with the technology. So thank you so much for your patience today. And we want to say a big thank you to our Dan Mann, who has yes. been brilliant thank with our today. Thank you, Dan. Um, but most importantly, thank you for you, for you guys tuning in and letting us know, you know, what you like. And we will be back next Thursday, live at five o'clock on my Facebook channel, Hall Walk Active. And if you have any questions before that, please send us a post. Um, we're probably going to edit this and we'll put it up later on and we will put all the links and things that we've discussed as well. Okay. Any other questions, we'll check through. And I think next time we're going to talk a little bit about outdoor makeup and barely there makeup. You know, if you don't want to go bare, what could you do? Yes, exactly. So we talked about, we thought we might do, as you say, what would you wear for outdoor exercise makeup that just looks simple, fresh faced without feeling too heavy. So if you like that idea, leave us a comment and that would be great. And we will see you next week at five o'clock. You're right, my darling. All right, bye, everybody. Bye, bye, Take care. Bye, bye. Look after yourselves. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. bye.